Oh, hi everyone. My name is Kisa, your host for The Banner. So uh, right about now in studio, uh, we have the banner of the week or the person, uh, the most outstanding youth with the most innovative and uh, outstanding idea. So right about now in studio, we have the one and only Miriam, a uh, poet, uh, writer, storyteller from, uh, she says she's from Utenzi House. And uh, Miriam, please tell me something about yourself. Uh -huh. Well, you see, I'm a poet, Miriam. I'm a poet, mm. a writer. You've said most of it all. Mm. I write poems most of my free time, long ones, short ones, and I like stage performance. I live for that. Okay. And then I like telling stories to kids. Bible stories and everything. Yes, yeah, like a Sunday then, school teacher, man. <laughs> so, and then mm. I manage websites. I manage mm -hmm. the Tower TV website. It's kind of like a school project. Then I um, that's basically it. Yes. That's smart enough. Like poetry and website designing at the same time. Like, you know how do you combine these two things? It's is it as easy? Mm -hmm. Well, um, one person who hates being idle. Okay. Like, I don't like sitting around all day. So most times I'm doing this or I'm doing that. Doing nothing at all is like a disease. Mm. It's like a virus. So I get to do many activities. I plan many activities for myself. Mm. So that if I finish managing my website, I head on to writing a poem. I go read a novel. I come tell the story. Wow. And then... By the end of the day, you find that it has been spent productive other mm. than just sitting around all day. So you're, you're actually really up the banner of the week. Like, I like that kind of uh, momentum. So let's dive right into the questions. So how do you join Utenzi House? How do you join this poetry house, Utenzi? I joined Utenzi this, this, this year, at the beginning of this year. Mm. You see, last year there was this training on the team's crown where they were having different sectors, there was photography, but I decided to join the poetry part. So under the poetry lessons, after I got the skill, my trainer, Nikki, is the president of Utenzi. Okay. So he decided to add me on, and we are going to have a show this month. Okay, 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 Aiton. Love Masala. Love it's, Masala. Yeah, I've, 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 I've actually seen the ad. Yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So I'm one of the ones presenting. Okay. I'm going to do my okay. piece there. So I joined the Tenzi after he recommended me for that. He was like, Miriam, you can do stage performance. I know you're just starting, but you'll get there. Okay. And that's how I got into it. So, so, so what, tell me, what, what basically led you to join this club? Like, what, what, what was that thing? What made you join the club? What made you love poetry? Tell me, just something simple. I joined the club because I hate being alone. Being isolated is the worst feeling for me. I want to be around someone. And then I love poetry because that's my one secret happy place. Like okay, you can okay, do okay. everything there and mm. no one judges. Yeah, yeah, like yeah this, I get it. This, this <laughs> yeah. word and no one will be like, Miriam, take that word off. Oh. That's your one free space. And true, that's true, what true, I love true. about poetry. I started writing in senior two. Okay. I'm a senior four backlist right now. Yeah, yeah. So about two and a half years down the road. Yeah. Oh, man, go, go you're mature in the game. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> you're also grown up. Eh? <laughs> yeah, so uh, what, what, what have you, like, what achievements have you obtained through this uh, training, through this, uh, through your time in Utenzi? What have you achieved? Okay, apart from Utenzi, what have you achieved, like, through poetry? Like, what, what has poetry given to you, like, basically? Poetry has given me a base to stand. Like you can see, one of the advantages is I'm meeting new people, mm. new person. <laughs> so I'm happy to be somewhere where you are going to help whether words can change a person. Yeah, true, true, words true, true. Words are like therapy. Yeah, yeah. So you can, I can write a piece mm. that helps you to soothe your anger. So my poetry has, <laughs> uh -huh. my poetry uh -huh. has helped me to meet new people, speak to different people, and understand different things. Like, there's a different perspective with poets have. Like, they see things differently. Can you, did you know a poet sees red blood as blue? What? Okay, like, I'm seeing now poetry kind of being like some interdimensional game. <laughs> yes. 
like whereby you have to travel with <laughs> some, watch... some sort of dimension. Like yeah. the poetry world looks as different. Like wow, wow, wow. Like blue. <laughs> yes, you can. They see red blood blue, mm. and they see the blue sky is pink. Or okay, just know it's crazy, but poetry is like. Huh? Okay, it's like another Cinderella kind of land. <laughs> Cinderella fairy tale. What? Yeah, kind yeah, of yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I get. So it's it's a right feeling, cause hmm. okay. when you're starting to write a piece, you're not going to stay Miriam. You can be, you transform into a different person. So I can run to write a piece about this poor girl in the village. I'm not going to remain the same girl wearing the perfect clothes. I'm going to turn into. There's a girl over her name is Nakasongo. Of, of, of course, like, and basically what, you try, what she's trying to say is that when you write a piece, it's actually like you dive into the piece and you're that new person in the piece. Wow. So you've been different people in different places. But the funny thing is, you're mm. traveling and you're on your desk holding a pen. Wow. And a paper. <laughs> so like... Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. So basically, what do you like writing? Like, what's your best topic? Like, what, what, what theme do you always base on? What's your topic? Like, tell me something. Okay. Just tell me. Uh -huh. I write different topics. Mm -hmm. Love, hate, rejection, heartbreaks. Oh, my God. <laughs> but most times, mm. my poems are not very colorful. They are bitter. Should I say? Okay. Bitter. It's okay. I like writing for the bitter people, so... I write so that they can have a way to express. Okay. So okay. A, I write, okay, love. I can write for you a love poem. And, okay, some people say the pieces I write for them, they actually think it's me who is in yeah. love. Yeah. That's and the then, entire poetry um, game. Because you said that, because uh, it's, it's, I continue? Okay. Because uh, you said that uh, basically when you write it, it's like you're that person you get. Yes. So now when you write love, a love poem for someone else, it's mm. like you're the one in oh. love. Oh. So, of course, it's, 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 it's the experience. It's relative. It's, it's kind of relative. Yeah, yeah, I get you. So uh, where do you see yourself and uh, the organization in about five years to come? Where do you see yourself? I see myself in a very large country where I'm surrounded. Hey. I see the stage lights blinding my sight because I want to move from one stage to another, you know, like doing my thing. Yeah, I get you. And then I see the organization getting bigger, like from Uganda, then goes to Kenya, and then... Okay, Just like, naturing poets. Uh -huh, so <laughs> it turns into How a, sweet. a global kind of community. Yeah, 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 yeah I get you. For, for the ones who like hold the pen. And, so uh, how do you balance? Because you say that you're a senior for vocalist, and you say that you started writing poems when you're senior to write. Yeah. So how did you balance studies and poetry at the same time? Like, how did you do the two? Well, it's not that difficult because poetry just means you're going to imagine. So you can be reading in class. There's this time when you're reading and things are not entering the head. So that time, I take it to go to my happy place. So I get my pen, my paper, and write. Write. So I write during that time when I feel I'm tired or... You know, uh, the reason why I asked you this question is because uh, during my time as I was still doing poetry, poetry was too addictive that whenever even someone would just mention a word, katamba, like, ah, you like, ah, katamba. You have, you have the piece, you get. So it was too addictive, like, it was too much into me that I had to just stop poetry because it was really too much because I had focused a lot on poetry. So I, yeah, I gave it a simple break, but I'm a poet too. Hey. So, like, tell me, tell me something about yourself. What do you do in your free time? My free time, I read novels, I actually sing, oh. I then dance, okay. of course it's a free zone, so I do anything that makes me happy. So don't force time. me to make you do a cappella here. Okay, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not Chris Brown material, but okay, okay. dance to mm. make me happy. Okay, mm. 
So uh, what's your dream? What's your dream? Basically, what do you want to do? I want to be a zoologist, like a dog for wild animals. Okay. I want to move in different game parks and hmm. stuff like that. Kinda, kinda. So poetry is like, like a side hustle. You could call it a side hustle. Side hustle, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, just for the meantime. But my main dream is in the science bit of the world. Oh. So, trying to balance them. The imaginary out. world with the real world. And then you mix them up together, so you'll recite some poems for the, for the animals, for the rhinos. <laughs> <laughs> the source of inspiration. Uh, okay, that, that's actually good. Mm -hmm. So before we go any further, like, what challenges have you faced as a poet? What have you gone through? What, have been your main, what has been your main challenge as you're doing poetry or as you're doing your thing? Uh, the main problem is lack of platform. Because I true, kind of true, have true. a hundred good pieces. But where are you going to present them? Their events are scarce. Like, for me, who's still a kid, I don't move around. That yeah, way. yeah, so yeah, I get you, yeah. Getting to this event, this event, I don't know if that's all right. Then, um, some people say, you know, I can write my piece and understand it, but you may not understand it. Yeah, that's true, true, true. Issue. Those have been my big problems so far. Okay, so... Please uh, tell me how which projects are coming up. Tell me about your burning projects. Do you have any projects coming up? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have Love Masala coming on, mm -hmm. where I'm going to present. Then I have another another show that's going to be around April, but I've not yet scheduled for it. Like I've not booked the place where I'm going to have it. Mm. And then, of course, I'm going to go to school, so I'm flying <laughs> to at every, every assembly. I yeah, keep you recite. Like okay, okay. Do so, do you, do you have a book? You have a, a book? book? Not yet, but by the end of this year, I want to publish my own. Okay. Like 60 pieces in it. Okay, what's the name of the book? What is the name? It? I'm still picking the head title, but I'm still Okay, okay. Uh, guys around there, please uh, wait. And uh, actually, you should expect the new poetry book coming in from uh, the one and only Miriam. Uh, Miriam Ahu? Amoit. Amoit, Miriam. Yes. So uh, right about now, we shall be uh, wrapping up the show. And uh, of course, thank you for being very, very good viewers. Uh, please keep it banner. And uh, thank you for watching today because uh, I believe that this show has kind of impacted someone's life because I know there are very many poets out there who really love the game, but uh, they really had no platform or something so poetry training is still going on and uh, in case you're interested in poetry you can yeah you can join and just keep on your dream something will find you from nowhere you get yeah so do you have any social media platforms you're having i have tiktok okay and on tiktok i'm tabby 503 508 all right, thanks for the show. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being my I'm guest. Very yeah, all right. Uh, that's all we had for the show. Uh, thank you and have a good day. So, uh, okay. All right, so uh, one, one thing I have for you before we, we, we completely seal off the show is uh, in case you have anything, don't just sit on it, you get yeah in case you have that little light just that that, that, that simple simple light just let it shine because one matchstick can lead to a burning of a whole 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 forest you get so in case you have anything just don't sit on it you get just come out and be it you're a good speaker come out you can you can you can be a, a human rights activist you can be a poet you can be a storyteller you can be an anchor you can be anything so the youth out there should really know that there is a platform for everyone. Just do your thing and uh, everything will be as perfect. Thank you.